All right, what a plan city. We're going to take a look at AK Terrain's Muddy Ground acrylic diorama series. And uh, this is the example they give. It's this really dark, muddy ground effect. So as you can see, it's perfect for vehicles. And today we're going to be using it just on the base of a character. 14 bucks. I can't believe I paid that much. Here. Muddy Ground is the perfect product for recreating heavy, thick, muddy surfaces rich in texture. Allow 24 hours to completely dry. Prior to drying, wheel, track marks, or whatever you wish can be pressed into the surface. Ooh. Yeah, so that's how you make your those effects. You just slather it on and then put those wheels or, or tracks into the surface to give it some extreme realism. All right. Uh, we're genius. Put this price tag sticker here. How am I supposed to know how to use this product? Here we go. Acrylic product for textures and dioramas. Perfect results in thin or thick layers. It can be diluted with water or an acrylic thinner to improve its flow. Okay. Use a spatula or old brush for handling. Well, I don't have an old brush, but I do have this Citadel starter brush. It's from one of their starter sets. And uh, it doesn't really work well as intended. You can see it's the tip is all funky. So I've repurposed it. I've reassigned it. Now it's going to be, oh, look at that, my terrain brush. So definitely going to be sealing this back up. Uh, it looks oily at the top, but that's just because I just opened it. It's been sitting in this state for who knows how long. It's going to take a little bit off it rim there because that looks like it's the easiest to work with. We are going to slap this on a uh, Bretonian here. Francois. Francois! Ha ha ha! Bonjour! God, that's terrible. Terrible. And I think... Yeah, it goes on pretty, pretty well. I've already put some uh, grit, as you can see, on Francois's base, but the texture itself has a little bit of some, some grit in there as well to give it that muddy ground texture. Uh, I like the dark brown, greenish brown color that they went with for, uh, for coloring it. I think it's perfect. It's way better than just buying a texture paint and having to put it on, wait for it to dry, and then apply the color to it. I'm going to be very just heavy-handed with it because I want to see how it how it dries and how it looks. We'll apply this on Francois here and then as we go on we'll just see how it dries. But it looks terrific. Even if I didn't have any grit on this base already, if I was going from just a flat base, you see how you could build it up by just putting more and more on and then pressing down some areas while leaving other areas nice and clumpy. This is perfect for the back fields of Bretonia or the Empire or anywhere. Sorry, I kind of knocked my camera there. All right, I'm going to seal this back up. Make sure that I close it nicely. Uh, evenly, we don't want to have it so that the air gets in or else it could dry out your product. And <laughs> there it is. And as a follow-up to my last video, I want to let you guys know that after running it through the water a couple times, you can see the texture paint has mostly all come off of the brush. Look how terrible this is. This is terrible. Citadel, what are you doing? This quality of brush is just... Oh, oh, oh man, this has gone from a review of AK Interactive's Muddy Ground to uh, the poor quality of starter brushes that come in these starter sets. Uh, but you know what? That's not what you're here for. You guys are here to see this Muddy Ground. So let's take a look at it. After a little bit of time, you can see it's just starting to... Uh, set and dry so we're gonna let it keep drying for a couple more hours and then we'll do a quick wrap-up at the end of this video to show you how Francois looks 
All right, and there you have it. We've let this guy dry for a little while longer, and you can see that the uh, finished effect is a little bit of a glossy finish, which I don't mind because it evokes a very freshly churned up muddy field. If it's a battle taking place in the middle of a storm, or if you've got lots of uh, vehicles, or lots of just horses and people marching across the fields, it's going to get all churned up and muddy. So it's terrific. If you wanted to dull down that muddy look, you could just take some matte varnish and that will take down that gloss uh, considerably. But this is what he looks like. Thank you, Francois. Oh, you're very welcome. Hee hee hee. And uh, like I said, you get a giant tub for 14 bucks American, which is what I paid USD. But if you want to get the same effect, but you don't really care for the dark brown that the muddy ground comes in, you could also get yourself a tub of acrylic, not acrylic, um, texture paint. And that usually comes in white or light gray color. It's just uh, the same kind of texture with some grit into it. And then slap that on the base and then paint it any color you want. So does your alien world have green mud or are you on Mars and uh, the Martian dust is getting churned up and muddy there? Then you can paint it red however you want to do your base. I think it's a great look, great naturally muddy look, terrific to offset the uh, paint job that I'm going for. So if you want to see what this guy looks like once he's had his uh, shades and he looks a little bit more toned down than this, then stick around because the Bretonian Bowman painting tutorial is on its way. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.